I don't know what I thought Florida was, but I definitely didn't think it was this. Hey guys, Jess Hawkins here, Aston Martin Formula One driver ambassador, and I am in Miami for the first time ever. I'm here with Sentinel One. Um, I'm going to be doing part of their lady speech later. We never get the opportunity to see the city that we're racing in. Um, it's airport, hotel, and racetrack, and genuinely, that is nine times out of ten what you the only things that you ever see. So, while I'm here and I have a bit of downtime, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to explore some of the beautiful scenes of Miami. Apparently, I'm not sure how far of a drive away it is, but apparently there's alligators. I've never seen one, so I'm excited for that. I think we're gonna hopefully get the opportunity to go to the Miami Dolphin Stadium. Also, while I'm here, obviously, I'd really quite like to see the track. But this is genuinely the first opportunity that I've been here that I've been able to explore. But yeah, I just thought it would be a cool idea to be able to show you kind of what goes around the race circuits. <laughs> so we are on the way to the Everglades, which is only half an hour away from where we're staying. And I've never seen an alligator before, so we're going to go and see an alligator. Or several, hopefully. Welcome to Gator Park. We're but more importantly, the everyone, park. welcome to the Everglades. Everything does bite, and it bites hard. Trust me, I know from experience. Should I be scared? <laughs> Everything no bites, apparently. was 19 feet two inches. That's a big monster, right? Now females only get about eight and a half to nine feet long, no bigger than that. Very cool. So oh, you want to take a picture together? <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. No worries. So yeah, well no matter, even if it's viewed as like a man's thing, there's no such thing as that. That's right. And you can be whoever you want to be. 100%. Boat racing. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, good fun. They're, they're a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. Like in general, I thought that they'd be a lot bigger. <laughs> See you later, alligator. One of the big reasons that we don't have a female in Formula One is because if you go by the law of averages, there are so many less females, female drivers within the sport that it's highly unlikely for a woman to ever make it to Formula One. I think that we need to start changing the perception of not just children, but to parents as well, that there is no such thing as a man's sport or a woman's sport. So the reason that I'm here is to host Women's Hour um, at a Sentinel One event and it's really a chance to kind of, I think, to get us all together and empower each other, I guess, because I think that's a really nice thing to do. So that would be a lovely thing to do tonight and obviously <laughs> it's in Miami. <laughs> As you know, Aston Martin Formula One team's philosophy for the year is we climb together and Sentinel One's philosophy is ascend and there's a lot of synergy between the two so I'm really excited to meet some of the ladies and hear their stories and share our stories together and um, I'm looking forward to doing that. So.
Isn't so it funny how one word changes the whole perception? <laughs> <laughs> I've learned something along the way. And if bad decisions lead to signing for Aston Martin, Formula One team, I will continue to make bad decisions. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was super empowering and a bit emotional even, like there were so many women there. It's been a, it's been a great day. So this is the first time I've ever seen the track, probably one of the first that have ever seen it. Honestly, we've come here to see other things other than the racetrack, but the best thing about this trip has been seeing the racetrack.